you just <laughs> like so like it, it's almost like we're kind of climbing this mountaintop of like how do you make like fast fashion like very accessible and anybody can build it and there's a ton of you know our ones and and you get to choose the best one and in some ways it's kind of beautiful because it's like an ecosystem of like hundreds of thousands of content where really is a meritocracy where you're competing against each other right what is the fun in in a very frenetic world yeah but in a sense it's also kind of dangerous because how, how do we as, as industry veterans think about this space and how do we carve a space within you know this changing paradigm you have a, a unique position in in this too as well because you did ship suck up so you have yep. one of the games that's actually done that I, I wonder if we could go back to that a little bit and look at any other lessons learned in the production of that or yeah like because they're they're like as as was alluded in the beginning like there's very few games that use generative ai in that game loop like suck up that have been shipped and so what what did you learn from that aside from you know like in addition to what we've already been talking about i think there's one thing i i've learned in Suckup and also actually post building Suckup, I shared before, which is when we started building a lot of game modes after Suckup too, right? So the Valentine's mode is somewhat more complex. The rap battle more is somewhat more complex. There's other things that we're tinkering with. One of the realities, and I love to hear your perspective on this, is when you start layering systems, like game systems that are more complex, that is based on an LLM, I think the problem scales exponentially. <laughs> it, and so, like, you know, so if you're saying, okay, like, you can do Suck Up is now GTA, right? Like, yeah, you can, yeah, yeah. You know, Suck Up but, is now GTA. All right. Yeah. But yeah, but that's, so, a, that's a title but, of this. Yeah. Actually, we're going to announce it. Yeah. <laughs> but, but there's just so many vectors in which that logic moment could go wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, and so it's kind of like, and this is a bad story. Maybe the LMs, the tools around it could get better, but it's like you're kind of building castles out of sand. Yeah, if that makes sense, right? And you're like, like if you're stacking, and the, the more I stack, it, it, it falls, right? That's, I think, when we launched Suck Up, we had thought that, hey, look, we achieved a level of success with it. We are going to see an, a Cambrian explosion of experiences after us of more complex, and we can learn from other people. And, and that's what we hope, right? Because game games work, right? And we learn from, and in fact, Suck Up, we learned there, there was a game that before us called the Yen Dare Girlfriend. It's not really a game, it was a prototype. And, and we learned something from that, right? Not in terms of what the game was, but kind of how they operated the AI. But we haven't seen anything, or we haven't seen a lot that was takes off in a massive way. And we think it's not because game makers are not talented. I think people are incredibly talented around the world. 